I'm out at my luxurious lakeside cabin, taking a nice little break from, you know, the hustle and bustle of city life. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, I'm also avoiding the police because I'm kind of a suspect in a multi-murder case. Shh. But they don't know where I'm at, so we're just gonna keep that down, though. But I still have to review movies. <laughs> so while I'm on vacation out here in the wilderness, I decided to bring my miniature DVD player with me to watch a couple of movies. Yay! And also, I happened to get my hands on uh, a couple of films here. The uh, Dollboy film and Circus of the Dead, right, which kind of go together. I didn't realize that until I got them together. They kind of go to go together, if you know what I mean. They go to. It was a sexual pun. I'm really bad today. It's, I'm just gonna be blatantly honest with everybody out there. This bloody Bill guy that made both movies uh, is an independent filmmaker from uh, down in Texas, and um, fuck him. Okay, fuck him. Like in the butt, really hard. And I'll tell you why I'm so mad at this guy. Okay. Uh, and in fact, all indie filmmakers out there should probably raise a middle finger with me to this man and tell him to fuck himself because of how high he has raised the bar for independent filmmakers now, I believe. From the acting, to the cinematography, to the editing, to the just writing, the directing, Everything in these movies are solid and on point to the, to, to the effect of I can't even really make fun of them. And that pisses me off, man. So fuck you, Bill, because I can't make fun of your movies. Now, I'm not sucking up because I don't do that. And a lot of you out there that know me know I don't suck balls. Well, I do suck balls, but that's an extra $20, okay? But besides that, I don't just suck balls when I'm not sucking balls. Wait a minute. But I suck balls. There's a lot of ball sucking going on here. But the point is, is I don't just suck balls to suck balls. You gotta pay me. They didn't pay me to suck his balls. So I'm not sucking up to his balls. I'm saying. It makes me mad that this guy came out. I watched this one first. I watched Circus of the Dead. So it's just doll boy. He can sit over here for a minute. Good guy. Good guy. Circus of the Dead, though, I watched first because I like to watch things out of order. It's just how I am. I like to start a series at the end and go backwards and then just, you know, rewind it in my head and reverse that. So, uh, first of all, Bill Overs Jr., right? I've seen him in multiple, multiple films. You have, too. You probably don't know his name, but you probably know that face and the intensity of acting that he does. Dude's a, f a phenomenal actor. Everything he's in is intense. You'll see his ass cheeks more in this than you've seen your own when you got curious when you're around 14 or 15 to see what your own butt looks like. I was there. It's a lot hairier than I thought at that age. Really weird. Huh. Uh, anyway, phenomenal actor. I knew that was coming. I knew the intensity from him. But then you have people in this film, like the Ryan Clapp dude, um, and because uh, he did the character uh, Noodle Dome, the clown, which doesn't say anything. He just giggles and laughs and ways a lot like this which is funny not really funny haha -ha, more funny like I don't know why I said funny it's not funny at all it was just he did a great job being this bizarre little uh, big character of a clown and then you got I don't remember who it was uh, there's oh god damn it Jumbo the Clown did a great job uh, being the little uh, short clown I'll be politically correct so nobody hashtag 2020 fuck this guy and his political incorrectness shit at me. Fucking PC culture. But anyway, did a good job being a scary little guy barking like a dog and being a creepy fuck. They did a great little joke in the beginning there where he accidentally unplugged something. That was good. I like that. And this Booster the Clown guy. I love that character. Here's the one thing I've got to give this uh, Bloody Bill guy for his writing capabilities and his co-writers. Uh, as well, whoever co-wrote wrote it with him. I cannot remember his name off the top of my head. I'll put it here on the list, on the thing. Here's his name. But, the leader of the group, Papa Corn, which is Bill, uh, Bill Oberst Jr., wasn't, uh, they all played their parts and played them well. And he wasn't like an asshole to his direct underlings. They were like a unit. You know, 
Um, there's one point where he said, you know, Mr. Noodle Dome, remind me to, to, you know, tell Bush the Clown how to be discreet. You know, remind me to tell him what the word means. And, you know, I thought he was going to reprimand him for not being discreet, and he didn't. D don't mind that. They got caught in the bear trap. I'll get him later. Hey, Point uh, being is, you need any help is, with that? Uh, no? Uh, okay. Like, I thought he was going to be more of that, like, asshole supervillain type where he would, like, beat up his own cronies. But no. They were like a unified family kind of thing. I think that was better played off in this kind of a film as opposed to you had some jackass leader who was treating his other dudes like shit. They were like buddies on a killing rampage. And that was cool. And the Blister the Clown dude was great. I love that guy. Really cool, laid-back dude. You know, smoked cigarettes. But, uh, you know, and the Pop of the Corn, Pop of Corn the Clown was very, like, sadistic and evil. And, you know, the characters were great. The acting was really solid and spot on. I can't... For a low-budget film, and I don't know exactly what the budget was, but I know it was an independent pro project, and I know it was obviously not no three bajillion dollar budget. This dude did a phenomenal fucking job. And it makes me mad, because now I look at my crap. Here I am making trailers with, you know, Roombas with guns attached to their face, and, you know, uh, ducks that have laser beams shooting out their eyes. And I'm like, haha, those are fun and dandy and all, but sweet Jesus. When I throw down on a real project, this is the bar I gotta shoot for. So fuck you, Bill. Fuck you, man. What are you doing to me? And the other independent filmmakers out there, dude, come on. You're not making it easy. You didn't even make this review easy. It's not even funny. I got nothing. The movie's got a lot to it. It's really great. Um, follows along a guy who's got to fight for his kids' lives, and it's all about this clowns that are, like, taking him on a murder spree and setting him up, and, oh, what's going to happen, you know? Is he going to get his kids back and shit like that? They do a great job making the clowns evil and really coming through with that, showing how some of them are com completely, you know, apathetic to the situation, and Pop of the Corn the Clown's, like, very, like, you know, sadistic and going with this, and he's playing this uh, Mexican bingo game with human lives basically really thoroughly impressed the movie circus of the dead you know what uh no uh, ha -ha. circus of the dead man this is a solid film definitely give it a shot if you get a chance to pick it up buy it i'm not even kidding just go buy the fucking movie it's worth it i'm glad it's in my collection now 110 percent um also interesting fact it and the terrifier film which i love to death by the way um have had an ongoing feud, and I'm gonna get to the bottom of this, by the way. I'm gonna put my Batman detective mask on, put my little, uh, fucking pipe in, and the little, you, you, uh, fucking, I don't know, English people hat that the one guy that talks stupid in English. Ah, uh, detective, Scotland Yard, it's a bunch of books, Robert Downey Jr. played him in a movie. Scooby-Doo! I'm gonna put on my Scooby-Doo hat, and then after that, I'm gonna find out why the Papa Corn Clown and the Terrifier Clown, there's a feud there. I'll figure it out. Now, the Doll Boy is actually a short, and it's a prequel to this. I didn't realize that, but Noodle Dome the Clown is in it, and uh, actually, they, they blend in characters from this at the end to the other film, which I thought was pretty genius and smart. Thanks, guys. Uh... I would love to see this a full feature film, but this thing's Mad Max fast and intense. Like the speed, the pacing, the pacing of the other movie, really good. They do a good character build up, a good character set up. This fast pass action nonstop. It's like 30 minutes of just in your face with a sledgehammer with that guy, which I don't know if you can see him, I'll put a big boop. But uh, I would like to see this into a full length feature film. That'd be cool. It's just a big dude in a baby doll mask, smash people with a hammer for 30 minutes. And you cannot go wrong with that. Dude in a baby doll mask smashing for 30 minutes. Can't go wrong with that. Wink, wink. All right. But, man, it was really cool, too. And it was shot really well. The gore in these, by the way, the effects, phenomenal. The the uh, team that brought you that was um, DEFCON FX. The DEFCON FX, guys. God damn. You know, I do a lot of uh, special effects and things of that nature myself. Um, usually low budget, cheap to no budget. I do a lot of like how to's and things like that to try and get people under 20 bucks to do some pretty good stuff. And I think I do a good job, but fuck these guys too. Fuck them. 
Fuck you, Bill. Fuck your whole crew. Fuck every one of them because they do a great job. They do better than me, and I'm angry because you guys are better than me. So you know what? Mm, I'm going to poke you in your balls with my finger, awkwardly enough, maybe a little tickle. But you know what? It's just not fair. And I say that with all sincerity. Good job, guys. The Doll Boy film and the Circus of the Dead film. Seriously, if you just can order these, order them. Don't even just pick them up at like the store and rent them or anything like that or the Red Box. Just buy them. I'm serious. They're, they're good. They're solid films. Buy them outright. And that's my thumb of approval. And again, I'm not sucking his balls. I'm just saying seriously, that's how much I enjoyed them. And uh, yeah, damn it. I wish I could hate them, say some funny shit about how much they sucked. and But I got nothing. You really let me down this time, Bloody Bill. You really let me and my fans that love to make fun of shit down. So start making garbage so I can at least make fun of it. Please. <sighs> Thanks for making a good movie. Find me on all of your favorite social sites and join my insanity. Whee! Oh, no. Look what I made! Thanks for coming. Drive safe now, you.